Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to cover the ribbon interface where you can find different tools that you will be using to create your deliverables with SOLIDWORKS Composer. The ribbon interface is where you'll find different tabs containing collaboration tools, view and appearance modifiers, as well as our different workshops. First we have the home tab where you can find visibility controls to modify the visibility properties of the actors or components shown in the window. You'll also find in the Home tab the Align Camera Tool, which you can use to change the camera's orientation just like you would in SOLIDWORKS. Finally, you'll see the Digger Tool, which you can use to create one-of-a-kind views which can give your users an enhanced and more informative look at your assembly. Check out the video on the Digger Tool on the SOLIDWORKS Composer YouTube page. Next we have the Render tab, where you'll find different modifiers for the visual appearance of the Composer window and your actors. The Mode tab on the far left will allow you to change the display mode of the actors in the viewport. For example, I can change from a photorealistic smooth display state to a flat technical appearance depending on what my deliverable requires. Next, we have the Mode toolbar for the lighting of the viewport. Here we can change the lighting's mood to fit whatever appearance and quality you desire. Both mode tools are fully customizable as well in the Properties tab. Finally, we have the Ground Tools, which can be used to turn the appearance of the ground on and off, as well as the display state of the ground, like showing shadows, mirrored surface, or a grid. Next we have the Author tab, where you can find different view collaborators like arrows, circles, labels, and measurement tools. You can include these collaborators in your views that add emphasis on actors or actions, give additional information like measurements and dimensions to your users, and add images like company logos or warning symbols. In the Styles tab, you can create fully customizable, reusable, and easily applied styles which can act as appearance presets that you can apply to your views to keep the appearances of your deliverables consistent and professional. The Transform tab contains the various tools you will use to modify the positions of your actors and collaborators. On the far left, you will find the Align tools, which can be used to quickly align planes, lines, and points of your actors together. In the Transform tab, you will also find various Explode tools, which you will use to create your exploded views in Composer. Check out the video on the Explode tools on the SOLIDWORKS Composer YouTube page. Next, you have your General Move tools. These tools can be used to rotate and translate your actors into the precise position your deliverable requires. You will also find the Restore to Neutral Position button, which will send the selected components back to their default position defined by your imported assembly. On the right side, you will find the Pivot and Kinematic tools. These can be used to create kinematic joints and relationships which will add increased intelligence to your composer assembly. See the video about kinematic tools on our YouTube channel. The Geometry tab contains various advanced tools you can use to modify actors' physical geometry, as well as create different primitive pieces of geometry like spheres and cylinders. Finally, we have the Workshops tab. The Workshops tab contains the SOLIDWORKS Composer workshops, which will allow you to create different kinds of image outputs like vector images, batch high resolution images, as well as access the tools for creating videos, build materials, and applying images from the image library and textures. Last, you will find the Simplification, Clearance Checking, Path Planning, and Interactive Collision Detection workshops, which are extremely handy depending on your task specifications. I hope you have found this video informative, and thank you for watching.